people say loyalty over love. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They say love is corny. Yeah. Love ain't shit. So what, what do you think? Like loyalty over love? Yeah. Or? All right. Honestly, in this, in, in, in terms of like relationships with like women, I think, I think loyalty. But overall, though, I think low key in general, I think loyalty is overrated. Just because. So what do you mean by yeah? Go ahead, okay, go ahead. because I think that, like, with friendships and and shit like that, I think I think loyalty is overrated, for the fact that people people change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, are you gonna stay with someone who's a friend just because you've mm-hmm. known them for a while mm-hmm. and 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 just because like you want to be like, oh no, I've known this mm-hmm. person for this long, but they're like toxic as shit mm-hmm. and they don't give a fuck. And they just want you around for for company, like oh no, I'm loyal, like bro. But you're unhappy as shit. Mm. You really gonna hold on to that shit, bro? I, feel I don't you. give a fuck. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like bro. Yeah. That's what I mean when I mean when loyalty. Now I right. get that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but like, nah. But I, I with like as far as with see that's the thing. It's just because I don't have any experience with like a relationship like with a woman. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't know like like I and I'm not gonna act like I do know, but like. I don't know, like, I, I think with that, I would think that I would rather, you know, loyalty because love can, like, die down, I guess, and shit. So, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about that. So, yeah. Oh, but that's why overall loyalty, uh, overall love. Okay, but then what do you think? But how would love be better in those situ- in scenarios of, like, your friends and stuff? Because let's say, like, this is what I think. I think loyalty comes from love. You know what I'm saying? What loyalty mean? stems from love like, oh like you're gonna you, be you're loyal, loyal because you towards love. things that yeah, you love you know yeah. what i'm saying like you're not gonna be loyal to it so i think i guess loyalty is also like a form of manifestation of love mm-hmm. or a form of showing love or expressing it because if you let's go back to your example like if you're my mans and you're, mm-hmm. you're toxic and all this bullshit and you love me and stuff you're gonna be loyal but like you love me as like your bro yeah like you're gonna be loyal towards me that's true if you don't really love me that much yeah you're not gonna like Mm-hmm. Be that loyal, yeah, and yeah, you can be a bum ass. I kind of like that mm-hmm. scenario you gave, where yeah, like, are you gonna stick with people just because you've been with them forever, yeah, or what? Because that's interesting for me because I actually never had a friend from like childhood. Like, mm-hmm. I never like I had I grew up in friend groups. Well, I've had friend groups where those friend groups they all did know each other since birth and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So like. But then me being put in it, you know, it did make me feel a little weird because it's like, oh, like, I'm not as good as their friend because, mm-hmm. like, I wasn't there since the beginning like they all were. They're all way closer and all this bullshit. Yeah. But it's true to, like, I'm to think that, like, what if I have the same friends as I did from when I was a kid? Where I'm like, I don't know if I'd rock with that. Like, yeah. I'm happy that I did go. And, yeah, because people change, like yeah. you said. So... I'm not going to just force a, re- a fucking relationship yeah. because because of the time that we've yeah. had and the history, you know? And another thing... So that is kind of interesting yeah. that you raised that. Like, I didn't even think of it that yeah. way. And another thing, too, is like, is that, you know, you and you would want to say, like, another like our argument could be that, oh, but if you love this person so much, then you will try to help them and, you know, change them and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like... Nah. And, and that's and that is, is true to I've an extent. Cha- I've changed my mindset on that way much. Yeah, it's true to an extent. You can, yeah. if you really someone and you believe and, and you know what I'm saying, you can maybe, but it's it's very rare for that because yeah. people will not change for you. People, no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some, I don't know, it's... Nah. Basically what I'm trying to say is that no, like... they won't. They'll yeah. fake that they yeah. change for you, but, but they won't a, have that. A person will not change unless they want to change, exactly. period. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you cannot change them unless they want to change, mm-hmm. literally. So the best you can, the best and only thing you can do yeah, is communicate your feelings. Yeah. And that's it. Literally, Once yeah. you communicate your feelings, it's up to them to react upon it mm-hmm. and then maybe perhaps change their behavior that yeah. made you feel that way or anything you communicated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if they don't, I mean, that proves a lot. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, you're only going to change because you want to. Like, exactly. a drug addict's not going to fucking stop doing drugs just because exactly. my friend told me to. Like, exactly. And they, already, they have their own yeah. relationship that they've built already with that yeah. substance or that thing already. So yeah. it is up to them, you know? Bro. But the thing, I, the only thing I can do as a person is be like, yo, I worry about you, man. Like, yeah. this a problem is, I think it's becoming a problem. It's really affecting our relationship and your health and all that. Mm-hmm. But it's up to them. You know how them. many people struggle with that? You know how many people who don't drink and they have alcoholic friends? Like, bro, you don't you don't think those friends tell them to not drink? But, yeah. but, but then they stop because, like, bro, they know that nothing is going to change that yeah. shit. 
literally well, nothing. I mean, how are they telling them though? And like in a scornful way, you know, like where I'm talking about oh, yeah, where yeah, they where yeah. they think they're morally better because it's like why are y'all oh, drinking? Yeah. Oh, guys are always drinking. Oh, yeah, no, I, like that shit could be annoying, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. probably might even will encourage somebody to do it more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's different. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that, there's definitely uh, there's definitely that scenario. Yeah, but, but you're talking about in general. Like, no, I'm saying bro, in general, like, like, like sitting them down. Yeah, like, I'm saying someone who genuinely cares. Type yeah, shit. someone who genuinely cares about this person's health, and you're like, yo, like I love you, like. I do not want to see you like kill yourself every day, like drinking and shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So like, but you cannot change that person. Like they'll, they'll say like, damn, like, you know, and like, yeah. I love you and shit too. But like, no matter what, like they're still going to do that shit just because they won't, don't want to change. Mm-hmm. So period. Like you well, can, because I love it too. Like, yeah, people, they grow, like, like I said, they have their own relationship with these substances and shit. Mm-hmm. Like they grow to love these things too. Yeah. Or like it becomes like they're, you know who told me the, the first person to ever tell me anything regarding addiction? I was very young. Mm. And it was my fucking aunt, bro, telling me about cigarettes, bro. Because I did ask her one time. I was like a little kid. I didn't know. And I saw that she would smoke. My parents, I knew that they used to smoke, but they, have, they had stopped. Wow. So I was like, okay. I never really saw them smoke or anything like wow. cigarettes. But then my aunt did still. And she, she would come. She didn't live with us for a round, but she would visit. And when she did, she would be smoking and stuff. So I was like, why do you... Why is it so hard to quit? Because everybody always talks about it. Everybody always says, like, I'm trying to quit. I ain't. Like, that's the thing. Like, you, everybody knows cigarettes are bad. Like, yeah. if you want to quit, that should be on your mind as a fucking cigarette smoker, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, why is it so hard to quit? When she was like, well, you see, like, you love things with like a brother. She's like, is there, like, I love it like a brother. Mm. Like, it's that point now where I love doing it because it brings me this and all that. Where it's like, I know. But, like, you fight with your brothers, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you have bad times with your brothers. Like, I don't know if the comparison was great. I, I but, see where it comes from, but though. I see what it means. I don't know means. if the comparison was great, but the reason why it held true to me mm. was because, like, she really compared cigarette smoking to having a brother. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, I'm like, damn. Wow. That is a strong relationship yeah. because that's your brother, yeah. bro. Like, that's blood. Like, that's yeah. there. Like, you can't just end that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, that made me realize, like, wow. damn, like, that shit is very difficult. Damn. Just that simple comparison. I was like, to think that somebody that knows the negative effects and how bad it is and in society and all that, to literally say that, like, they still love this young like a brother and it's really hard for them to stop, like, that just goes to show where, like, things aren't easy you know like it's yeah. just not easy it's yeah. up to them they have their own separate relationship with things and just because somebody else from the outside is telling you to stop mm-hmm. it's like bro i still have developed my own yeah. personal relationship with this thing i yeah. can't just end it you know if especially if you love it like a fucking brother you know damn yeah so that's crazy it's kind of like it was kind of sad to hear that you know mm-hmm. yeah, that but is I mean, sad hey, Damn, I mean, crazy. my grandpa was smoking on his deathbed, bro. Like, yeah. before he died, that man was still smoking. He lived very long, too. So, to be fair, even smoking, like, a pack a day, that man lived a decent amount of life. So, Wow. Yeah, dog. That's crazy. They don't even want to change their ways. Yeah, I mean, bro, if you don't want to change, people will not change, bro. If, if a person does not want... I mean, yeah. If a person does not want to change in themselves, they will not change. Mm-hmm. Like, no cap. No matter what you fucking do, if you're fucking... Whoever, bro, if you're fucking the greatest, if you're Elon Musk, bro, and he, and he tells you to, to change, bro, you, unless you want to change, you will not change, bro. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter, bro. And it takes a lot. Like, I, I believe people change, but it's, it's really all up to them and their conviction, how bad they want it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't know. That. I, that's just for me where it stems from with, like, you know, loyalty being overrated, in my opinion. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, in a relationship, I do think... In a relationship, like like significant other, I mm-hmm. do. I would take loyalty. Mm, yeah, I would take loyalty over love because, like you say, maybe at the beginning, at the beginning and everything, it's all like love. You yeah. know, like that's what you're building on. Yeah. Let's say later on, I'm just fast forwarding a little mm-hmm. bit. Building a family terms, mm-hmm. loyalty is way more important than the love yeah. because then it's like. I don't care how much I don't like you anymore. Like I can, you could stop loving your partner. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much I lo- don't love you anymore. But we have a kid. Mm. I love the kid. Mm-hmm. I need. We need to be loyal to, and you need to be loyal towards me and this family and this child, so we can produce the best outcome with this child and offspring as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need this bullshit of you being unloyal towards me, either financially like doing things behind my back buying dumb shit behind my back spending money on, or cheating on me 
bring another dude into this relationship, having my son maybe even see like this new fucking dude and all this shit. Like, nah, I need you to be loyal with our goal, which is to raise this mm. this thing. You know, this kid, bro, not this mm. thing, this fucking kid. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. Nah, I, because I see. yeah, because that because the love can fade. It's sad yeah. to say, but in, yeah, yeah, marriages, loves can love can fade, yeah. bro. But like, yeah. as long as you're still loyal, I mean, that can literally keep the the family dynamic yeah. strong and good. Like, yeah. you don't really gotta love the person you're sleeping next to, mm-hmm. but as long as you guys have a fucking understanding, yeah, and you guys share that love of the child and stuff, yeah. and you have that same goal. You guys will work it out and solve it no matter what because that love for that kid mm-hmm. is like stronger than anything, it, bro. Yeah. yeah. So Damn. I don't know. Loyalty in a relationship is everything just because you don't want to break that trust. Yeah. You don't want to cheat. You don't want to like mm-hmm. bring any negative vibes or feelings mm-hmm. or outside sources to your relationship. So no, I see. I see definitely. Yeah. I think like what I mean by loyalty over love is more of a long term thing. The yeah. loyalty is more important. Mm hmm. If it's like short term, I mean, go ahead, bro. Like, yeah. Like, if you're not looking to marry that person, okay, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. Have as much sex and have that love. Yeah. Like physical feeling all the time. Mm-hmm. Fuck loyalty, you know. Yeah. No, I definitely in that in that yeah. in that view though, I I see how is there. Yeah. yeah, but I I no, but the one that you brought up, I really did. I really did like that because it's true. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I I don't think about it much. Yeah. You know, like I did. I guess I did have friends where I mean, I did have friends that I kind of grew up with, but not fully. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah, like even my friends from high school and some of them, like I grow yeah. apart because like, yeah, like things change, yeah. dog. Like people go on their own path, I'm not about bro. to just like, bro, actually, here we go. I have soccer friends, bro. And I'm about to put them on blast, bro. Because <laughs> I don't even give a fuck. Yeah. Bro, we play soccer all the time. Yeah. We have, we have fucking my, my, my college friends uh-huh. then my high school friends. I yeah. played soccer with both. Yeah. Anytime we play pickup, I started inviting my college friends and mm-hmm. then now it's all big one group. Mm. And usually we play fucking my college friends versus the high school friends. Yeah. And then I just choose, like, hey, yo, Tom, go uh, on this one. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, I'm like, fuck. Like, I'm in between. Yeah. But the problem arises when my college friends and my high school friends don't get along. Oh. And they start beefing. Oh, and they start fuck. fighting. Yeah. Like, literally, like, get heated, yeah. bruh. And, like, because they don't really know each other. They're mm-hmm. still, like, strangers to each other. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. Me, I'm in the middle, bruh. Yeah. So it's like, who am I loyal to? Mm-hmm. Like, is my loyalty towards this friend group worth fighting this one? Like, yeah. Damn, no, that's interesting. I'm not going to let... Bro, I've been in this that, for a lot because especially, you yeah, know, like, yeah, I've know. been in this with yeah, a lot, I bro. Yeah, Having damn. this, like, dynamic where I don't wow. have to... Like, because... Because then my college friends are going to be like, but Tom, you choose us, right? Yeah. Because like, they think I have to fuck with them more. Yeah. But then my high school friends are going to be like, like wow, but, like, but Tom, like, yeah. you're, what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah. from high school, bro, like, you're my man's right. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. stuck in between. And it's like, damn, I don't know, That's bro. crazy. Where, and at that point, it's like, fuck loyalty and love yeah. I'm not about, y'all can do live your own i'm yeah. not better be a part of this bro. bullshit bro see that's the thing it's just because at the end of the day everyone is living their own lives bro like everyone yeah. bro everyone is thinking about themselves like i mean you you're like we think about the people we love but like like the first thing you're thinking about is like oh shit what, what do i gotta do you know what i'm saying like you know there's people maybe people in your lives are going through shit and you think about them but it's like the main thing is is you you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah that's all it is so it's like yeah. Like, your best friend's friend, mom could have died and all that, but, like, at yeah. the end of the day, like, I'm a pout with you, and I'll be yeah. sad with you, but, like, yeah. that's still something they could have to go through, and I'm not about to dwell on it every day and yeah. f- make it feel like it was my mom that died. Yeah, like, nah. you, like, unfortunately, and it's not sorry, to take bro. And it's not to take away from him or his family. Yeah, it's yeah, just the yeah. way it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? People, mm-hmm. and I don't expect someone to do that for me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't exactly. expect someone to carry my burdens you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but if 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 someone's there for me i mean i would i would expect that at least you know what i'm saying then that's what i want but i don't want someone to act like they're me type shit you know what i'm saying yeah Just, yeah yeah nah bro like every we're all living our own lives at, at the end of the day and i and i recognize that so it's like mm-hmm. and i recognize that at some point someone like in my life maybe like anyone in my life who, who i consider homies like i mean we there could be a falling out you never know mm-hmm. i don't want that and, and i don't expect that but shit could happen you never know unexpected hardships at the end of the day mm-hmm. but and i'll always just seek um good you know what i'm saying yeah. and i always will look at the good in people but you never know at the end of the day yeah you know thankfully though uh, I, i've never really have been crossed like that i've never really have gotten my trust like yeah like touch with like that but i feel like it's just because of the 
the also just just my kind of I just don't really give a fuck kind of like you know what I'm saying like like if if you do like cross me then all right you're lost you know what I'm saying 